the new business planning notebook has everything you need to take your business to the next level this year. Now it has these custom note sections and each of these note sections are linked in this top bar. You can also navigate to each note section by tapping on the number. Now what's new with this from previous versions is you can now tap into any of these arrows here to get down to the section individual pages. And so it makes it super easy to use the templates with these note sections. Now your templates, this is really vast. There's a ton to see here. You can see there's everything from calendar planning and tracking to content and product planning financial, business organization, productivity, and note pages. So if we tap through quickly just to show you, I have this easy thumbnail view that allows you to select. And so you can see from the thumbnail and you can go in, you have everything that you might need for, you know, calendar or schedule planning here. And then we tap over to content and product. You have you know, this content planner, all different views for planning content, whether you want to plan monthly, weekly. Now you also have this annual overview and you can see all sorts of pages specifically for product development, planning, pricing, promotion. Now you also have some financial pages, including, you know, a tax filing checklist, a mileage log. So there's a ton here to explore whether you're in more of a, you know, client facing role where you need to take notes or you're even doing order trackings and don't have a full system that's in here as well. So the idea of these pages is really just to give you templates that you can choose to use or not to use. So some of them might pertain to your business, others might not. But what you'll do when you have a template page that you want to use, uh, let's go back here and we'll go into our content and this content plan. Now, if I want to use this template, I have two choices here and I'll just show you how easy it is to use these templates. So I can copy this an unlimited number of times. I'm going to copy this page here, go into my notes section, and you can see, you know, these are pre-filled here. I can just place it right after the section divider. So I could call this my content planning, and then I know I can swipe over and see my monthly content plan. Now, another thing you might choose to do is you could place it directly on top of the page with the linked pages. So to do that, you can tap right out here. And then we could go over to our templates. And maybe I want to do this. Now what I can do here is I'm just going to screenshot this page here. And we're basically creating our own overlay. So I'm gonna crop this down just to take up the page here. And copy. And then I can jump over back to where I was. And I can actually paste that right on top of the page. And so this is how you can see we're essentially creating our own insert page. If you've been around digital planning for a while, you're probably familiar with this idea, but we're pasting it on the page. So I just wanted to show you that so you can really see the flexibility of this template library. And then of course I can just write right on top of here. Um, and this, this method does make it easy to stay organized. You can tap right in and you're on that page that you added. So those are note sections and templates. You also have space for project planning. Now I mocked up a quick example just to show you how these pages work, but you can see that you essentially have mini project workspaces for up to 12 different projects. 
For each project, you have a project plan, Gantt view, and progress view page. So especially if you're not working in a full productivity system, this is a section that might be really helpful to you. Now, I like to plan out projects quickly here and just kind of get things on paper, and then I'll actually take it over and put it into my project system. I just work better on paper when I'm trying to get my thoughts out. I'll do a quick kind of outline sketch of the project here and then move it into my project system. So if that's helpful to you, this is a great place, this project plan, to list things out and make sure you have just a basic plan. Now, if you wanna do more of the full tracking and management in this notebook, you do have pages for that too. So you have this Gantt view, which is kind of a more familiar project management view, allows you to put actions out and actually designate when they'll be completed. Now you also have this more interactive kind of Kanban view, which I'll show you we're able to make little cards these little cards actually come with every Laurel Studio planner. It comes in the, in the planner uh, sticker book. And if you just purchase the notebook alone, you'll receive these stickers as well. So these actually go here and they're images placed on top of the page. And so it's a more interactive view that allows you to, you know, pull things across and uh, be able to move them through the different stages. So again, if you don't work in a full system, this might just be a helpful, more interactive way for you to manage the status of everything in the project. Just a reminder that you can choose which pages you use. If just the project plan is helpful to you, you can ignore the rest. But this is a really helpful space to sketch out your bigger projects. Now, getting into, you know, the part of this planner that's really going to take you to the next level in your business. These templates are super valuable for helping you think through how you want to manage and grow your business in the next year. So I have this all laid out here. You have a few different streams here from your vision, your presence to your growth. So I've made it super easy to navigate through with this top menu here. You can see a quick description of each one and navigate through here, but you can also just tap through up here. So I am able to do my reflection first, thinking through each unique area of my business from you know, customer and client relationships to team relationships, products and offers. This reflection then brings you with a lot of clarity to your vision. I really like to create a vision one year in the future and five years in the future. You can always duplicate this page to create multiple future visions. And so you can choose how far in advance. You can choose whether you just do written words or you add images and make it more of a vision board. This is a very flexible page. Then we really get into thinking more about your business values and missions. And I have some really helpful prompts here. And then also thinking through your ideal customer profile, we know, you know how important it is to understand your customer. And that of course leads you into thinking about how your brand should show up visually with this style guide. Now I really love this guide. You, you know, can color in and put color codes for your colors. I like adding images here and it's just great to have that at my fingertips whenever I'm working so that I can make sure I'm showing up consistent. Now the presence, this is really helpful. You know, every business has some level of online presence and thinking through how you're showing up is really great. It also allows you to quickly capture point in time where you are on each platform and then check off the one to three platforms that you'd really like to focus on growing. Now your growth brainstorm allows you to think through the possibilities where you might want to take your vision, your business in the year and just list out some ideas. And this is a great place to end before you really pinpoint where you want to go with your business this year. And then you get into milestones. So it's great to have kind of a singular focus or theme for each month, whether you're sharing content and want to have themes or you're growing more of a brick and mortar and just want to have, you know, an area of focus for each month. You can sketch that out here. And then I love being able to check off the milestones throughout the year. 
Now your revenue is, this is a really helpful template that I've found just simplifying. Obviously you're going to need more in-depth views of your finances, but the views for your revenue plan and the finance that I'll show you in a second has really helped me just to have a quick audit every quarter or month to think through the progress that I'm making. So you're able to put revenue goals in here and split them up by revenue stream. Now, once we do all of this planning work, that's when we're going to go into our growth tracking. And this is what I mentioned I really love, you know, each month sorting through my full bookkeeping finance system and just giving these roll up numbers is a great way for me to reflect and check in every month. And then similarly with audience growth, this goes back to all of that customer and brand work we had. This is a great place for me to sit down, kind of audit those top platforms that I'm most focused on, on a monthly basis. And that's, of course, on top of all of the different analytics systems that I have. So I do find these templates to be really helpful, no matter how online, digital, or you know, in analytical systems your business is, Sitting down and really pen and paper, writing out where things are each month has helped me stay accountable and more focused. So even if you manage this information in other systems, these are templates that can be really helpful to you. So that's the full tour of the notebook. And just a reminder, you do get this notebook in a landscape version and also in a portrait version. So when we go in here, you can see we have our growth tracking. You have all your note sections. So this is fully converted into that landscape view. So no matter what page orientation you use, you're going to be able to use the planner in that specific orientation and all the pages are translated over. And so you have both landscape and portrait I suggest choosing the version that corresponds to the planner layout that you chose. Now I also have a version for e-ink tablets, so no matter what device you use, you'll find the perfect fit. I hope this overview was helpful and is leaving you feeling very inspired to take your business to the next level this year with this new notebook. As always, please leave any questions in the comments below and please subscribe so you can get new updates from my channel. Thanks so much for watching.